Hi, my name is Trev Hutchings, and this is how to use the Intrack Studio on your phone. This is just another one to teach you how to write a song. So first, let's add a drum track. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the three lines. Tap on New Song on the pop-up menu. Then tap on Create a Beat on the pop-up menu. The screen now has rows of grey squares with the row name label to the left of the squares. At the bottom left of the screen, tap on the play icon to stop playback. Now tap on the 1st, 9th and 11th square on the top row that is labelled kick to add a kick drum beat. Tap on the 5th and 13th square on the row labelled snare to add a snare beat. Then tap on the 3rd, 7th and 15th squares on the row labelled HH close to add a hi-hat beat. Now at the bottom left of the screen, tap on the play icon to listen to the beat. Then tap on the play icon again to stop playback. and tap on the rewind icon to return the song back to the beginning. Tap on a square to add more notes. Or tap on a note to delete it. To see more rows, drag your finger up or down the screen. At the top left of the screen, tap on the X icon. Now let's add a MIDI bass guitar track. At the top left of the screen, just below the drum track, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on Add Instrument Track on the pop-up menu. Tap on Guitars and Basses on the pop-up menu. Tap on Bass. Then tap on Bass Light. At the top of the screen, tap on the word Beat. Then tap on Eighth on the pop-up menu to change the size of the grid squares. At the left side of the row of squares is the keyboard keys. Press two fingers on the keys and drag your fingers up the screen to see more keys. Tap on a key to hear the note of that row of squares. At the top left of the screen, tap on the third icon from the left, that is the note icon. This lets you add notes to the squares. Tap on the first and second square on the row C3. Then tap on the 3rd, 4th and 6th squares on the row A2, which is 3 rows below the C3 row. Now tap on any empty square. At the top left of the screen, tap on the 5th icon from the left, that is the Move icon. Then press your finger on the note and drag your finger to move the note to another square. At the top left of the screen, tap on the fourth icon from the left, that is the eraser icon. Then tap on the note 
to delete it at the top left of the screen. Tap on the second icon from the left. Now press two fingers on the squares and drag your fingers left or right to see more squares in each row. Or use a pinching motion with your fingers to zoom in or out of the grid of squares. At the top left of the screen, tap on the X icon. At the top left of the screen, tap on the Snap to Grid icon, so that when we trim the bass guitar recording, the trim will snap to the nearest grid line. Now press two fingers on the screen and pinch to zoom in on the bass guitar track. Then press your finger on the trim icon at the end of the bass guitar MIDI recording and drag the end to the left so it is at the end of the first bar. The end of the first bar is marked on the ruler at the top of the screen by a vertical line to the left of the number 2.1.000. Now press your finger on the loop icon at the bottom right of the MIDI recording and drag your finger to the right to loop the bass guitar MIDI recording. Now let's add a vocal track. Plug in some headphones and put them on. At the left side of the screen, tap on the plus icon. Then tap on add audio track on the pop-up menu. At the bottom left of the screen, tap on the red record icon. Record some vocals. Then tap on the red record button again to stop recording. This is just another one To teach you how to write a song OK, so now that we've got the basics, let's save the project. At the bottom right of the screen, tap on the three lines. Then tap on Save Song on the pop-up menu. Type in a name for your project. Then tap on Go. This is just another one To teach you how to write a song If you enjoyed this video, do give us a thumbs up and click on that subscribe button. Cheers!